Yo, welcome to King Plays, this is King, and um, welcome to a bit of a different video today. We're going to do a bit of a vlog and actually talk about life in Japan. Now, I wanted to just go through basically all of the pros and cons, the good and bad, um, if you ever wanted to go to Japan, what you should come to expect and all the rest of it. So I'm going to get straight into, I'm going to start off with the negatives, because to be honest, it's brilliant living here and there's more good things about living here than bad. So I'll get into the, uh, the bad things straight away. First of all, I would say that the most difficult thing for me personally about living in Japan, and I think it's probably especially around the Tokyo area, is that it's quite difficult to make friends. Now the reason I say that is because, well maybe it's just like I said my area, or maybe it's just me, <laughs> who, who knows, but um, like I find that in Tokyo especially, it's such a busy area, so much is happening. If you've ever lived in a big city, you'll know that everything just keeps moving, and you know, if you stand there, you'll get left behind basically. Um, so that's, that's my biggest kind of gripe of the whole thing at the moment. I, I'm quite a social person and whenever I'm not able to go out and just, you know, text somebody and say, right, let's go out somewhere, it can be a bit frustrating. Now, this is actually my second uh, stay. I've I done three months here before. And, like, in those three months, I've probably only met one person I would consider as a friend, which, you know, it's not, it's probably not ideal. Although I think if I was in places like Okinawa, it's places around the coast, um, even just less busy, less busy places, um, I think it'd be a lot easier. So that's one thing I would say to you is, um, you know, obviously this is a very sort of business business area and the type of uh, foreign people and gaijins that I've met um, tend to be like business people. You know, I think I'm actually the youngest person, um, you know, youngest foreigner that I've seen here. You know, I've met a couple of guys around my age, but really it, it does seem to be mainly business people and as you know, they're, you know, 50... 50 years old or whatever. So that's the that's the worst thing. I mean, I would say if you're the type of person who does want to come to Tokyo and wants to live here for a year and you do think that you'll miss your friends, definitely bring somebody with you or get a group of people and go for it because eventually it will wear a bit, a bit thin on you and sometimes it does, to be honest. Now, another thing I would say is like whenever you're fucking bored at night or something, there's no TV, you know, so like the TV in Japan, it's a lot of like panel shows and they kind of react to certain things like food and people doing certain things. Um, you wouldn't get like English movies on the TV that often or obviously TV shows. So I don't really watch TV anyway, but you know, it's just one of those things. If you, if you're so inclined to watch TV when you're in Japan, you can't really do that. Um, I would say sometimes the food is unusual. They eat a lot of fish, but like sometimes you get like cow tongue, um, I don't know, like they eat raw fish, which is a bit weird for me, I'm not a big fish eater, so you will find, you know, a lot of your standard stuff, you'll still have your KFCs, Domino's, fucking Pizza Hut's, McDonald's, all that shit, but to be honest, I don't really like eating out of those places too much, but I would say as a whole, I do like the food, but if you're a little bit picky with your food, you mightn't like it so much. Now, a funny one here is small shoes. Now, I'm personally a size 10, and I, for for the life of me, I find it so fucking difficult to get 30 centimetre shoes. It's measured in centimetres here. So weird, like, um, I was actually in the shopping centre the other day and, you know, going back to sort of meeting people, um, I was I was having a bit of a bad day and I was actually looking to buy a football in Matsudo, which for some reason I couldn't manage. I went to a sports shop and they didn't have a football. It turned out to be like an outdoor sports shop. So I was a bit pissed off. I, I was literally facepalming myself and, um... The funny thing was, like, there was this kid who was maybe 10 metres behind me, and he says, hey, hello, hey. It was so fucking funny, like, to just, this kid, he must have been, like, five years old, and whenever I turned around, he was smiling ear to ear, and he was so, so happy to see me. So we'll get into the good stuff, um, just sort of leading on from that. Um, people do tend to be really happy to see you. Um, being a gaijin in Japan is, it's a little bit like being famous sometimes. I do feel like, you know, whenever I see how people treat other Japanese people and how people treat me, I think people are really, really happy to see me all the time and they really go out of their way and make an effort to even, like, in Starbucks, for example, they write thank you on the cup or, you know, write something English on the cup. You know, they're always really happy, really respectful. And I think that's just generally what the people are like here. They, they have a lot of respect for each other and a lot of uh, respect for the environment as well. Like, some people have asked me and... I think people just assumed that it's like China, but some people um, said, you know, is it not really dirty and smoky and shit like that? And that hasn't been my experience, my experience at all. I mean, whenever you're walking up the streets, you don't see 
you know, buckfast battles fucking smashed up the pavement or anything like that. You know, it's just really, really well looked after and people do have respect for, for the area, which is really good. And in terms of smoke and shit like that, I really, I really don't see it that much, to be honest. Um, I've got a bit of a list here. Uh, yeah, and as well as that, I would say since I've uh, sort of came to Japan, uh, I did mention the food briefly there. The food is very, very good and healthy and very clean food. It's, you know, less, you know, sweeteners and literally the, the selection of bad food that you can get is a little bit few and far between. Like, for example, you know, it can be annoying sometimes, but if you go into a shop and you're looking for, like, a bottle of Lucasaid or something, it just doesn't exist. I mean, you go there and you've got um, about 10 different tea selections, um, you know, just all these fruit juices, um, you know, whenever you go to buy fast food even out of the, the supermarkets, you know, like the sandwich counters they have in shops. You know, you've got like sushi rolls um, wrapped in seaweed, you know, they've got like rice triangles, they've got, you know, fish and uh, noodles, you know, it's all sort of really like paleo type food. It's very wholesome food. Um, I would say as well, uh, another one, um, and it seems to reflect in how happy people are, is that Japanese people actually have a very similar earning level. So whether somebody's a doctor or somebody's, you know, working in a supermarket, the doctor's not going to earn that much more than them, which is kind of, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Like, the doctors and stuff will, some of them might earn twice as much depending on what they're doing, or the nurses might earn twice as much. But uh, in general, having a sort of a community where they can all earn a similar amount, I think that's really, really good for, you know, everybody's sort of well-being because um, people are able to do lots of things together and whatever walk of life and whatever career path people have chosen, they can still live a sort of decent life which I think is a really good thing and I think it's, it kind of reflects in people where you know you, you, there's such a massive contrast in you know the rich and poor people in the UK um, like I can't remember the exact figures but I know the minimum wage in the UK is something like 12 or 13 thousand a year or whatever and the average is about twice that amount whereas I think it's a lot you know a lot even a lot more even in Japan which is a great thing um, there's lots of festivals, lots of things to go to, like uh, they do fireworks every Saturday night here, just for, you know, just for the sake of it, just to give people something to do. Um, there's lots of places you can visit, like really cool, like anime places where, you, you know, you can get Dragon Ball stuff, you can get like loads, hundreds of comic books, hundreds of mangas, um, you know, there's like Pokemon shops, Tamagotchi shops, Star Wars shops, fucking you name it, there's every type of shop for everything and People are really sort of happy and proud that they like anime, which I do as well. I like, I tend to find that it's weird. Like, unless you've got a good, good group of friends, a lot of people will sort of look down on you almost for liking that kind of stuff. Whereas here it is just the normal. So it is quite easy to fit in and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Like even in like the little games places, like the arcades, often they have like a little anime reading section upstairs where you can just sit in a recliner and read your mangas. Which is pretty awesome. I love that kind of shit. So I'm just having a look to see if I've missed out on anything. Um, yeah, the shops are open all night, which is handy. Uh, the traveling's really easy, and it's quite cheap actually as well. Just in terms of cost of things, I think food is really cheap. Um, if you smoke, it's really cheap. It's like two pound for a packet of cigarettes. Alcohol's cheap. It's like fucking a pound for beer. Not even. Like 50p for a fucking beer out of the shop, which is just redonkey dick. Um, so guys, just as a whole, I would say I'm really, really fucking enjoying it. Um, my advice to any of you is if you're coming to Japan for a week or two, but yeah, go to Tokyo. It's brilliant. You know, you're going to see so much shit and it's just massive and you'll, you'll have your mind blown. <clears throat> However, if you're coming to Japan to meet people, definitely learn Japanese. That's the mistake I've made as well. I haven't really put enough effort into learning Japanese which is something I am going to do now, uh, a bit more in the future. Because um, whenever it comes to actually sitting there on a Friday night and thinking, fuck, you know, let's go out and do something, you know, only having one or two people who you can actually go out with, it, it is a little bit disheartening sometimes. So I would say if you are going to stay for a longer period of time, definitely learn some Japanese. Um, or if not, bring some friends with you. So lads, uh, I've probably missed out a couple of things, but um, if you have any questions about what it is like to live in Japan, you know, by all means, get down in the comments, ask me any questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Now, I just wanted to show you this here as well. I actually bought this bad boy the other day. 
It's, um, for those of you interested in music, it's an Ibanez RG series. There we go. And it's actually my first 24 fret guitar. It is friggin' brilliant. Like, it is just such a nice guitar. Now, I'll, I'll just uh, show you a little clip here in a second. You take a more than me. And put them in control. Why'd you become a god? But what I'd like to do is basically at the start of all of my Pokemon Go Let's Play videos, I would like to basically get you guys in the comments section. Let me know what kind of music you like. Do you like metal? Do you like rock? What kind of um, music do you like listening to? And basically, get down in the comments, let me know what you want to hear. And at the start of my Let's Plays, I'll do like a 20 or 30 second sort of um, playthrough of whatever songs most popular in the comments. And I'll, I'll give you a shout out as well. So boys, if um, you like the video, as always, like, subscribe if you're new. And get down in the comments, let me know if you want to hear a particular song in the next episode. Or um, if you have any questions about Japan and what it's like to live here. But lads, apart from that, this has been King Plays. Um, thanks for watching, good luck and peace out.